Okay, everybody, making a Fibonacci spiral, and I'm going to show you step by step how we're doing it. Uh, this is the new part one. All right, so what we have here is we have a, a eight foot by eight foot, 96 inches. As you can see, I'm making the squares out of tape using masking tape because it's easy to tear. And we start with one inch since these are all one inch. We're doing one inch and I'm making the tape, the borders or the squares uh, that you're gonna then draw the spiral. So this is the first part. Okay, so what we did is we marked off the area starting with the one inch square. So I'm gonna put a, a, the how to do a Fibonacci sequence and a Fibonacci spiral in the description, a link to a video. He does a really good job. It's eight minutes long, worth your time. But, so it's zero, zero point, one inch, and you go clockwise, two inches. So one inch, one inch, two inches, three inches, five inches, eight, 13, and there you go. Okay, and then what we did is we drew a Fibonacci spiral. She's cleaning it up. We used some marker, and we're gonna show you in a second what we did, but it would be easier if you had a giant compass. The only problem is because we have an eight foot by eight foot board, I don't know if they make uh, compasses that big. So we had to improvise, and thus the spiral's not perfect. Well, we're using cheap, shitty markers, too. And we're using cheap, shitty markers, but um, again, prototyping, figuring what's going wrong. Next time, probably want a crayon or a thick marker. Okay, so AG here is going to show you what we do. Once you've marked out everything to make a spiral, you put the first one in the middle. So what we did here, take the first one in the middle, and these are one inch. So you make a one inch, there you go. The next one you have to do is two inches. So in order to do two inches, you have to move the point. Again, there's a video that explains which points to do, but you're gonna keep the spiral going. Now, this is a two inch spiral. And it keeps going until it hits that. Then you have to go to three inches because your next thing's three inches. Then you do five inches and all the way up. So improvising a compass, unless you happen to have a very big one, is the best thing to do. Or Next, if you're really great with a chalk line. Or if you're really great with a chalk line. Next up, we're going to roll this metal and see how it fits. Okay, so we worked on the spiral. And you see in the beginning, we need to bend it a little bit, but it almost, we just have to tape it to that. But we used um, screws, aluminum screws, to follow the spiral around. Okay, it's not perfect, but just prove a concept to give us an idea of how big it needs to be. Now, this is a 50-foot roll of aluminum. Say hi, Adventure Girl. Err. And we have this much left. So we have about half of it used up in the spiral, and this is starting with one inch by one inch. And by the time it gets to 55 inches, it fills up the 96 or the 98 by 98 or the eight foot by eight foot board, I should say. So pretty straightforward. It requires a lot more <sighs> nuance maybe, but we did it. Took a couple hours, not beautiful, but proof of concept. So we're thinking maybe we'll put a chair right over this because it's not very big. The spiral again starts at one inch, so it's not very big, but then it gets bigger way quicker. So there you go. There's our first attempt at a Fibonacci spiral and a mirror ascension device. Say goodbye, Adventure Girl. Goodbye, Adventure Girl.